Hello everyone. So here's our second lesson plan from the chapter Motion and Time taken from class 7th NCERT textbook. At the very beginning we have the concept map. After the concept map, we move on to the usual details of lesson plan, date, class, time, period and unit, subject, topic and subtopic. Then we have the learning points. Again learning points are nothing but simple statements that actually depict the major concepts in the chapter. Then our learning objectives. In learning objectives, we write what the students are expected to do once the lesson is over. Like students will be able to measure time using a clock. But we will not use the term will be able to. Students will be able to, we will not write. We will simply write students and then we will write all our objectives because lesson plan is always written in present tense not future tense also another important point is that uh, in learning objectives the action verbs the keywords are all taken from bloom's taxonomy so after learning objectives we have previous knowledge of the learners and then is learning resources that are going to be used in that particular class and then learning processes that are going to be employed for that particular period. Then we draw our table. So this is a 5E lesson plan. So there are 5 E's or 5 phases like engage, explore, explain, extend and evaluate. In each phase we have mentioned certain activities. You can also conduct the activities in your classroom. Please take a screenshot or pause the video whenever you want to. Now we are moving on to explore and explain. Again, this is a constructivist lesson plan for a constructivist classroom. So the teacher's work is just to encourage students to motivate them to take active participation in the teaching learning process. So in the lesson plan also we can see that the teacher initiatives uh, column is pretty narrower than that of the students learning process. Finally we move on to evaluation and after evaluation we end our lesson plan with the home assignment.